I have this view in the future that that art won't be these rarefied objects on museum walls. It will be artwork that is part of everybody's lives. It's around you. Um, there's something appealing about a piece of art having a, a lifespan to it, a beginning and an end. There's something real about the ephemeral quality. I mean, also people will come to the gallery and they'll sort of look and they'll go, this thing got painted on this wall for us. And at the end, they know it's going to get painted over and they know it, it has a limited life and then it will be gone. But I have this view in the future that the data will be really appealing and human and feel personal and have this comforting quality to it. If it has the quality of a, of a handmade object, you know, there was a writer for the Atlantic a few years ago and she, she was the first one that looked at me and, and said, you know, data is like your paint. And I thought, Oh yeah, it really is. Data is the medium. It's as much a part of the art making material as the surface itself. I went toward like really direct experiences and, you know, I'd started uh, measuring time and I come back to time again and again and again. And it took me a while to really get into this notion of data and what was going on with, you know, how we were being tracked. And, you know, I talked to my friends that hated, you know, my phone is tracking me and I thought, in the world of technology, a lot of things are really frightening at the beginning and then they turn into something completely else. And I thought eventually people will want all that data that's collected about them. And so I had this complete upside down view of what would happen to data. And that started to be the whole premise of my art. You know, I went to ACC for three semesters, maybe a little longer in 2003 three, four, five. I took a bunch of classes at ACC and I was really impressed. I took um, painting, drawing, ceramics, art history. The art history was fabulous. Uh, Photoshop. I just remember the, the kindness and patience for people that are taking art classes and have no like real experience. And the caliber of instructors um, was really impressive to me and they were nice. But you know what ACC did was it gave me what I needed to apply for an MFA. I mean, it was a real um, boost in terms of how do you start? I've used music in a couple of different projects and what's really beautiful about music is there's an inherent rhythm to music. There's an inherent pattern to music. You know, every, you know, I talk about patterns in data, but music itself has, um, it actually has mathematical patterns. I mean, anyone, right, you know, you know, the, both the beat and, you know, every measure. And so there's a, uh, there's a repetition in music and you can see with a beautiful piece of music, it has a, a flow and a repetition and a surprise and a, a flow to it, and you can visually see it. One of the things that I really like about this project is a student in a composition course created and wrote original music. And, you know, she gave me the score. And, you know, for people that can read music, it's like a whole nother language. But if you don't, a music score, you know, looking at sheet music, it's really complicated. And it's, invented, you know, and it's hundreds and hundreds of years old, that whole, you know, music signature. How do you actually, you know, write and decode, you know, musical notes? And But I turned it into a pattern. I mean, what if it could just be colors and boxes? And I think that people will remember this. I think, I don't know if people have installed. I mean, that's a lot of work. There's a team painting it. And a lot of effort went into sort of figuring out how to do it. And people will know that that was made for them, for that viewing, for that period of time. It's also bigger than you. There is something when you come, uh, you come and you confront a piece of art that's, there's this long standing view that when you see these paintings when, you know, that are bigger than you, it causes you to step into them. <laughs>